A six-year-old boy goes missing. When rescuers find him, they're frozen by what's lying beside him. When a person goes missing, there's a lot of things that could happen all at the same time. It's not an experience that a lot of people would definitely want to be in. Whether they're the ones who go missing, or the ones left to search, anxiety, fear, sadness, everything would be pretty mixed up during these unfaithful situations, and this family was no exception. When faced with uncertainties, they were able to do what they didn't think they could, and they were shocked by what they witnessed. This would definitely leave a lasting mark and change how they live forever. In every country, a missing persons case is a serious case. In the United States, there are over thousands of active missing persons cases that are scattered across the nation, according to the FBI National Crime Information Center. Out of those huge numbers, more than 32,000 of those were children under the age of 18. A topic of a child that's missing is often a hot sensation for the media to feast on. People feel that children are vulnerable and helpless when they are reported missing. Not to mention, the tension and worry are doubled for the child's parents. This is what a young boy from Blount County, Tennessee had gone through. Caden Leach went missing on the day of April 23rd during the evening while playing outside. Caden's parents didn't restrain him from being alone because he never goes away from their home without asking permission. He was a jolly and obedient six-year-old boy, always having the joy of being outdoors and getting a bit naughty like any child of his age. He's also fond of playing with his pets. They thought that Caden was just somewhere within the house when it was starting to get dark. They began to feel worried, and they immediately decided to alert the Blount County Sheriff, James Lee Barong. They were not about to let time pass without doing something to find their missing son. They knew that Caden didn't have a coat to keep him warm during this time. An endangered child alert was issued by the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, and the teams executed grid searches through the 2,000-acre area through the night. By 7 p.m., an estimated of about 100 responders from the local state and federal agencies were the first responders that volunteered with the searching. Caden was described by his parents to be about 4 feet tall and weighed 60 pounds. His physical appearance was also brought to everyone in the search. He had brown hair and blue eyes, and was wearing a black t-shirt, gray sweatpants, and slip-on shoes. They also remembered that he was in the area of Hummingbird Drive as his last location before he went missing. With Caden's age, the extreme fear for his safety is at high stakes, and the search operation soon grew in numbers of respondents including K-9 teams. Blount County Sheriff's Office SWAT team, Black Hawk Enforcement helicopters, and the resilience of the volunteer search parties from the local community. People in the said area also received an emergency alert on their phones from the Sheriff's Office about Caden's disappearance. Also, with the help of modern technology, the news was also wired through the smartphone application called Nextdoor. It's a sort of private social network made for neighborhoods. Megan Kessler was one of the residents that reached out and was alerted of the news. Since the operation team didn't want them to take part in the complicated and difficult search, Megan cooked up other ways in which she could help with Caden's situation. She decided to extend her help with the search by giving food and water to the rescue volunteers and emergency teams, since they all knew that it was going to be a long night. Her proposed nourishments consisted of coffee, chili, and whatever the rescuers and other volunteers may need during those times, and made sure that they can supply it. Fortunately, at 3.30 p.m. on April 24th, and in the span of 22 hours, Caden was finally found and he was located about half a mile away from his home. He was totally spared away from any harm or injuries, and for that they were all able to breathe with utmost relief. With the joint efforts of the local authorities, the fire department, and the local volunteers in searching for Caden, unbelievably, they were not the ones that were hailed as the true heroes of the search operation. It was Chula, his black and white terrier that was with him all this time that he was missing. The loyal dog had guarded his master and kept him safe until the rescuers could find his location. Blount County Sheriff's Office Chief Deputy Jeff French recalled how the brave dog growled at them when they approached Caden. All through this cold night, Chula never left Caden's side, and they could tell how dedicated his furry friend was. Caden was cold when the rescuers found him, and immediately wrapped him in jackets. He was then taken to Blount Memorial Hospital, and his family expressed their thankfulness to those who have taken part in the search. The community of Blount County was admired to be seen by how dedicated the volunteers were through the effort and extensive help that they put into the search. Staying up through sleepless nights, skipping meals, and other things these people were supposed to do just to help a community member in deep need. 
No matter what, each and every one of us has a purpose and hidden power to help those people in need or in any unfortunate situation, be it neighbors, co-workers, the cops, or even anyone. Everyone is capable of being a hero, including animals, just like Chula did, and even nature itself. Caden and his trusted companion Chula were finally out of the woods literally and figuratively. They were rescued back to safety and are currently living peacefully in their own home. With the help of the community that surrounds and cares for Caden, indeed faith in humanity is restored.